now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Ladies and gentlemen, that face you see in front of you is that of Stephen Pearl, who usually I used to call at one o'clock my time. This hey, it's, we... it's it's Kravitz. That what I say? Stephen Pearl. Oh, you're not Stephen Pearl. No, I don't think so. Oh, I meant to call Stephen Pearl. Damn it. Uh, anyway, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. Now that you got my name right. Oh God. Uh, you know, I wake up. And I just woke up a couple hours ago, and I'm just, I'm loopy. I'm loopy. No, you, you're loopy every time I talk to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm loopy. You're used to it. It's your natural state. Yeah, right. Anyway, so um, uh, uh, I, uh, I used to call you at 1 o'clock my time, 10 o'clock your time. That's correct. But now you're living on the East Coast, so now I'm calling you at the same time as my time. That is correct again. That's yes. two for two, mister. Yeah, so I got that straight. Okay. Anyway, mm. coffee. Got to drink coffee. Do you do coffee? That's a big mug of coffee. Hmm. I know. And I had had a stomach ache today. It's been a great day. When you wake up in the morning with a stomach ache, you go, "Gonna be a good day. Gonna be a yeah. good day." Yeah. 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 Sure. But you know what it is? I gotta tell you, you're not you're not this old yet. Okay. You're getting no. there. You're what? How old again? 64. 64. Okay. Uh, All bets are off. As you get older, just it's one thing after another. You know, and it's not, it's not like I've got anything that's life threatening. Right. Right. It's like I got neuropathy in my feet, so my feet are numb, and then right. I, I've got to go to the ear doctor because I'm lightheaded all the time because I think my ear is screwed up in some way. Yeah, just little things, these little things. And then you go to some other person for some other little thing, and before you know it, your whole social life is going to doctors. Yeah, no kidding, right? Yeah, yeah. So. And, your, and, your, and, your, and your, your whole life revolves around medication. I mean, like our friend Stephen Pearl, who today you're Stephen Pearl. I can, actually, <laughs> I can actually change it. I have a thing on the screen that says Stephen Kravitz, right? But I can change right. it to Stephen Pearl if you're not careful with me, mister. All right, all right. Uh, okay. I can think of worse things to turn into. Yeah. Pearl's a good friend. Pearl's a good friend of both mine and yeah. yours. You know who I was talking to yesterday? No. Will Durst. Oh, was he, he's good? No. <laughs> I mean, you know. I mean, listen, he's good because he's still above room temperature. Right, 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 you know, right, right. And and he 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 can talk fine. Right. Right? His sense of humor is still there. Sure. You know. But he just can't walk. He's got right. one, of his, one of his legs is is gimpy. Not functioning. He says he can do it with a walker now. They're doing oh, really? they're doing intensive, you know, physical therapy for him right so you know i mean it's just uh uh but um you know when i'm talking to him i don't even mention my health i mean you know i mean right right we got nothing to complain about nothing compares to a stroke you know no 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 especially a massive stroke and you know we can all get a stroke that's the strange thing i mean you 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 could get one tomorrow and, and thanks, thanks so much thanks for putting that on me look i really you. appreciate that <laughs> look at you you're fine yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. And Will was fine too. And then all of a sudden, massive headache collapses before he goes on stage. Next thing he knows, he wakes up in a hospital and he's. Uh... That was over a year ago now. Over a year ago. And, right. and and Debbie told me, well, you know, you can call him if you got his email address. So I called him on, on, face, on FaceTime. And there he was. And we talked for about a half hour. He, you know, I mean, he, he didn't want to get off because he's got nothing else to do, you know. That's so that, right. 
That was a big thing for him. But, you know, it, I just, his humor is still there, right? So the chops are still there. Even the timing was still there. Of course. You know? So, well, not of course. I mean, with a stroke, you could lose all that. You right, know, right. luckily it got his leg rather than his head, rather than yeah. his speaking, you know, and 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 so I think that's kind of a plus for him. Right, right, right. I, I know he doesn't, he, you know, he's a big writer, as we both know, but he doesn't want to write because his left hand is not working real well. He's got a problem. And I, I was talking to Debbie and I said, well, he, you know, he can always dictate it. Right. You know, we have these programs now. I mean, I don't. When I send people texts, I I don't I don't type it out. I just talk it into my phone. Right, right, right. You hit the little microphone. Yeah. Icon. So I mean, they're very accurate uh, voice uh, 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 dictation, dictation programs, and he could do that. But he doesn't. I for according to Debbie, he doesn't want to do that. He likes the physical action of typing. Right, 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 right. But. Right. You know, if if your only outlet to get your word out is to dictate it, then I you guess do it. go ahead, do it. You know, right? But he's stubborn. You know, no, really. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, but he, you know, he was lying there in bed, and he's uh, he's at a rehab center. Right. And, right. Uh, right. Right. Like Debbie told me, he's getting better just very slowly. Yes. Yeah. It's a very. You know, everybody, everybody wants him to get better yesterday. You know what can happen with these things. I've talked to people who um, uh, are into this sort of thing. Uh, you know, who know all about this. I have a friend, for instance, who had a stroke, uh, and he still has problems to this day. But he he walks and goes on vacation, and he's you know he's alert and he can talk to us. He's got a little little speaking problem, right. but not much. So what can happen is he can be the way he is today and a year from now be walking and everything's fine. Or he could still be in the same shape. Right, right, right. You don't know how far the, the recovery he's going to get to. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 that's the horrible, ugly thing about strokes is that they're unpredictable. Right, 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 right. Imagine like you said, yeah. me and you could both be fine one minute, next minute, you know, we're on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And of all the people for it to happen to, I mean, nicest guy in the world. I mean, geez. But um, Debbie's there for him. She's a gem. Oh, she's amazing. She yeah. is amazing. In fact, I've started having her on the program now because why not? She, she's as funny as he is. <laughs> she's maybe the fun, one of the funniest people on the planet. Well, I mentioned to her, uh, Debbie is uh, Will Durst wife, ladies and gentlemen. And if those of you who watch this program on a regular basis know who Will Durst is, okay? Sure. Um, but uh, uh, I, I, I told her, I said, you know, I, when I did this interview with her, which was about, I don't know, lasted 35, 40 minutes, something like that. It's more than I normally do with anybody. Right, right, right. And uh, But it was just so interesting, and she's so good that I, I kept it going. And I said to her, you know, this is the most I've ever talked to you at one time in our entire lives. Right. Because and Well, uh, we've only known her since the early 80s. Yeah, but my pal was Will. Right. You know, and it, 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 if you have a pal, you know this to be, and every guy knows this to be. If you have a pal and he's got a wife, yeah, you respect her and, hey, how you doing, Sue? How right. you doing, uh, Dolores, or whatever your name is? Sure. Um... Uh, uh, nice, good to see you again. Hey, by the way, Will, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you don't, you accept the woman they're with because they're your friend, but you don't well, make friends with them necessarily. Not necessarily. I, I made friends with both of them. The, well, I mean, I, so I told her, I said, in all the time we've known each other, this is probably the most, the longest I've spoken to you. Right. You know. And, and and now I feel guilty about that because I was missing out on a great treat because she's a gem. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yesterday on the phone call, he said, yeah, I heard you did an interview with her. He said, she's funnier than I am. Oh, she's funny. Yeah. She's she's in, in, a funny. in an entirely different way. I mean, his is a a political comedy. It's uh, you know diatribes and essays and so on and so forth. Sure. And hers is just wacky <laughs> you know, she's, she's she's debbie you know right 
The Queen of Improv. The Queen of Improv, yeah. Uh, and and I told her, uh, I, I mentioned to her something, I think you said to me either that or that other guy, Pearl, the guy I mistook <laughs> you for. The guy uh, you mistook me for. Said they have kind of the mom, well, you said it, the mother and father, or the mom and dad of San Francisco comedy. Absolutely, absolutely. I call them mom and dad. Yeah. And he said, she said, it's really quite true because we've never had any children. So our children are other comics. That's right. You know, who need our help and our advice. That's like Will and Debbie are the only people on the planet I allow to call me Stevie. Really, Stevie? Easy, easy. I can always <laughs> hang up. I can always hang up, mister. Do you ever notice there are people that don't like to be called certain names? Okay. Right. Like, if you know a woman and her name is Susan, right? Do not call her Susie. Right. Do not call her Sue. No. She's Susie. You know what? It's how somebody introduces themselves to me. Like if somebody says, "I say hi, I'm Steve," and they go, "Hi, my name is Thomas." I call him Thomas. I don't call him Tommy. I don't call him Tom. I call him Thomas. Right. Because that's it. Yeah. Because that's the way they introduce themselves. Right. You know, it's funny how many times I'll introduce myself as Stephen, and people will immediately say. Hi, Steve. And I'll think, what? You weren't listening. Yeah, it's Stephen. Yes. Now, why do you prefer Stephen to Steve? I mean, I, I, I think it's much nicer to tell you the truth, you know. Well, because me and my brothers have always been Richard, Stephen, and Stuart. Full names. We're not Stewie. We're not Richie or Dick or Dickie or, you know, and it's Richard. Well, what, 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 so what did your parents call you? Oh, Stephen. Yeah, okay. And it was also much more adamant when they were mad at you. Stephen, don't do that. Right, Stephen J. Stephen J. Kravitz, <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, my parents, uh, you know what they called me? No. Bolo. Bolo? Yeah. I, until I was eight years old, I thought my name was Bolo. Why'd they call you Bolo? Okay, here's the reason why. Jewish All families, right. Jewish families name kids after who after uh, a relative who has passed yes and you use the first letter of that of that person's name like i'm named after but great grandfather samuel oh okay you, know, you take the s but and you come up with steven many times every, you, yeah. every child should have their own identity we don't have juniors we don't have seconds you know i can't name a kid yeah Steven's I, don't know, I don't, you're right i don't know any jewish kids named junior no it's not it's not part of the culture yeah, I never thought of that. Well, thank you. Here I am, 80 years old, and I just discovered something about being Jewish. There and, you go. Any, anyway, uh, the other one was, of course, you get beaten up more often. But anyway, uh, uh, I um, no, the bolo, I, they, what happened was they were supposed to name me after a dead relative. Okay? Right. And the only dead relative we had was my father's brother, who died at like 21. Wow. I think from tuberculosis or something like that. Wow. And his name was Boloslav. <laughs> and his nickname was Bol Bolo. Okay. So they decided, well, we can't strap this kid with a name like Boleslav. He'll never get through life you know, in one piece, sure. right? So what they decided to do was to name me Bennett because they thought that was a very nice anglicized name. I mean, it's really... Right. it's really british it's not even jewish on any level right and and uh and they were strapping me with a long enough name anyway for my second name which was schwarzman so you know and they uh the, the kid's nickname was bolo and so they called me bolo really you know, yeah so i mean they never called me bennett they never called me ben although later on i guess i wanted to be called ben Really? Yeah, I don't know why. I, Must have been a phase. Well, Bennett's such a nice name, but no, it, it was a phase. Yeah. Sure. And and um, uh, but they. Now my they, grandmother used to call me Stevador. Stevador. Right. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. No. But I then again, my grandmother, every refrigerator was a frigidaire. Right. Or an right? ice. Or if worse, an ice box. Oh yeah! 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 I mean, you got to remember, my grandparents both lived to be over 100. So they went from horse and buggies to the car. They saw everything that happened. Yeah. You know, they, they, they were born in the early part of the 20th century, and they passed away in the early part of the 21st century. 
So they saw every development, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, uh, so, yeah, so uh, I, I used to call it, actually my parents called it an icebox. And so really? I, when I grew up, I call, I call it, I, I think to this day I call it the icebox. Really? Yeah. I, I may call it a Frigidaire. Yeah, yeah, but whatever. Hey, right. listen, uh, I'm looking and we run, we run out of time. Really? Yeah, I mean, not literally. No, 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 no. Just for this segment. But let's get together next week, okay? You got it, ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Kravitz playing absolutely nowhere and in because Massachusetts. Because nothing open. <laughs> now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, thank you very much, Stephen Pearl. He'll, Stephen, Stephen Kravitz, he'll be with us next week. See, I got stuck in that Stephen Pearl thing. Ah, too many Stevens on the show. Somebody's going to have to change their name. Hey, how are you? What's happening? It's um, Tuesday, right? Another week, another no dollar. Okay, another week of, uh, of fun here on GabNet and on the Great American Broadcast Network and The Ramble. That's the name of this program. And um, let's see here. Do I have anything I want to say? I don't, I don't know if I have anything I really want to say. However, we are waiting for G. Usually, Charlie is waiting online to talk to us. And um, then we're, we're, we're on. Everything's fine. But Charlie's not there. Nobody's there waiting on Zoom to talk to me. Well, okay. So I got the show all to myself now, and I have to ad lib. I see. Anyway, uh, I just... Uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm, uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. We're getting some people. Ah, good. All right. We'll go over, we'll, we'll go to our Zoom panel here. Let me admit, um, two of them that are there. Let me see here. <clears throat> and, uh, let me see gallery view. And there we go. Hello guys. How are you? Josh, yeah. Josh Wheeler. We don't normally see you on a, uh, on a uh, Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, yeah. We usually see no, it on Friday. I, uh, not usually, but I have to uh, I switch to nights working for the couple days this week for our yearly physical oh. inventory. So okay. I'm technically off tonight, going tomorrow night. Good. Should be back off by Friday night. So. Yeah. Oh, and here comes Charlie Wallace. I wonder where Charlie free was. Night. He's usually waiting. So you got a free night tonight, so you decided to spend it with us. Yeah. That's so if you like me, you're really excited. That shows and you what a dull life you can't stand me and yeah. you gotta listen to me twice in one week. It, it shows you it shows you what a dull life you have. That you have the first thing you thought of doing when you had a night off was call us. You know. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty excited. Uh, my eyes are tearing a little bit tonight. Wasted all my friends. Hello to uh, Jeff, and hello to Charlie, hey, and hello to Brian, and hello to all of you. How are you this evening? Um, so what are you, uh, what's happening in the world? Anything? You know, it, it, there... Oh, I can give you an update. Uh, what? I'll give you a little update. A little update on what? Well, <laughs> over the weekend, we, we took a walk. And, uh, actually, a car ride. Wait a minute, what, what's that like? It was, it's like amazing. Remember this? Yeah. The car, you get in the car and you just drive really? anywhere. Really? Is that one of yeah. those things with wheels? On it? I think yeah, they call it the horseless I carriage, know. You don't they? Used to a train and whatever. Yeah, horseless carriage. And subway and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah, no. We actually own the car. Oh, really? Okay. Do you <laughs> still drive, by the way? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I, just, yeah. I haven't driven. I'd mentioned it. Stephen, that it's been so long. I think it's in the next show that we play next week. That it's been so long since I haven't driven that I wonder if I can drive anymore. Yeah. You know, I guess I can. Somebody said once you know how to drive, you know how to drive. Well, they said that about bicycles, and I keep falling <laughs> off of them whenever I get on them now. So, you know, but. Um, so anyway, we took this ride around yeah. and uh, went up north, so to speak. And all of a sudden, I see this bridge. That's an old, old, old bridge. 
and yet it's like it's it's made out of iron, cast iron. Mm-hmm. And I go over there. I find that the, the bridge really doesn't work anymore. Nobody goes over it, and it was built in the eighteen eighties. Really? Yeah. And nobody goes over it anymore. I mean, there's, there's a, it's blocked well, off. Well, never had cars. There were no cars then. But was I mean, was it blocked off? It was. Yeah, it's closed off. Oh, okay. But uh, it was originally for getting horses and, and cows and stuff like that, and people. Wow. Well, and we may go back to that soon. The way things are going. Why yeah. not? Yeah. Well, if you re-elect Trump, he'll get you a new bridge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure he will. <laughs> oh man. I know I don't need Trump. Yeah, no, we don't. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks, folks. Yeah, but remember how uh, you guys know this, like after assume that he doesn't win. How long does he stay in that job? Before he leaves. Till, till the 20th, till the inauguration. Yeah, 20th day, of January? January, yeah. Uh-huh. In the meantime, he can totally fuck up the country if he wants to. Yeah. You know, that's the problem. That's what I'm he worried about. He might just about. move to Russia. Well, he says that if he loses, he's moving out of the country. So I figure there are two reasons to vote for him. <laughs> you know? Uh, but he uh, uh, he was telling somebody, you know, I, I lose to the worst candidate of all time, Joe Biden. You know what? You know what he's doing. It's kind of interesting. He just figures everybody wants to hear him do his greatest hits. You know, so it's lock him up instead of lock her up, right? Mm-hmm. I want to investigate these guys, and then he goes after everybody who doesn't agree with him. I mean, he's he's going after Fauci. Okay, how do you go after the, maybe the nicest, sweetest man in America? And expect to win that fight. So yeah, he's a good friend of uh, my ex-wife's uh, boss, mm-hmm. and uh, she used to talk to him quite mm-hmm. often. Yeah. And he, she says, "What the nicest person that you've ever met? He's yeah, smart. Yeah, smart and a scientist guy. and all yeah, that." Yeah, but a lot of people, a lot of people tell me that I should fire him. I mean, a lot of people <laughs> say that because on television, is his ratings. They're, they're not nearly as good as mine. He really bombs. I hear that he bombs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch it. But a lot of people tell me that. But they just tell me that he bombs. So he's really, he's not very good at what he does. He's been around here a lot of time. And a lot of people tell me I should fire him. I don't know. Maybe I will. I'm not sure. Yeah, but you I know, mean, the one thing. Tell me I should, but I don't know if I should or not. The one thing you're not throwing in there is his latest twist on this whole thing. He's incompetent. He's done nothing but he's caused hundreds of thousands of deaths. Uh, he's been terrible, but he's a nice guy, and I like it. <laughs> what? I know. Is this the new warmer Trump? Yeah. I don't know. He's the only person that I've ever seen who will tell you that someone that works for him mm-hmm. is incompetent and terrible at their job, but I'm not going to do anything about it. Well, yeah, two, I like them. Two, 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 <laughs> yeah. two, 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 but you understand what I'm saying? I mean, it's like the president of a company saying the executive vice president of the sales division is absolutely the worst person at his job I've ever seen. Terrible. I hate this guy. Oh, no, we're not going to fire him. We just promoted him to, like, something else. I mean, he does that. I mean, it's well, like, you know what? You know what? Two weeks from tonight, the election will be taken, will be over. And you know what happens three weeks from tonight? It's safe for Phil to call again. <laughs> I just saw him. Did you really? Yeah, we. <clears throat> our mutual friend had a car show. The, our mutual friend's a big car guy. Yeah. And so we actually did a car show up in Discovery Bay. They did a car show in Discovery Bay. So actually, it's pretty cool. A couple big top custom cars mm-hmm. were there with mine. Okay. So... Yeah, so Phil went there before he went to work, and we walked around, talked, and we talked zero about politics. Oh, good, good. And he didn't talk about the show at all. Uh, no, I just asked him if he listened to the show. He said, "Yeah, I hear it now and then." And uh, yeah, I didn't ask any details. Either. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, 
you know, he's never been he's never been thrown off the show. He just decided yeah. not to call. So, you know, I have yeah. no control over who calls and who doesn't call. I only have it, control over what? Yeah, and, and it's funny because I, I the car shows I know so there are two people there that I'm very close friends with that with the cars. And they both have deleted me, uh, unfollowed me on Facebook. Uh, but they were there and blah, blah, blah. You know, we talk about cars. We walk around and, and talk about other cars. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I realized that, man, before all this stuff, you know, these last three years, we we never talk about politics. We always talk about our mutual interests. And, you know, this has changed a lot this last three years. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, uh, what's the guy, the Republican who went Democrat? And he was really public about it. But yeah. you know, he, he talks about... You know, we need to get back to, you know, being, you know, you're, you're, you're not friends with your family now. Your family's split up. Your friends are split up because mm-hmm. of what's going on now. Right. Right. Yeah. So, well, anyway, so, uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll just be glad when this whole thing is over. You know, I don't know yeah. about you guys, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm so tired of it. And I'm so tired of the whole thing going on. And hopefully uh, everything will be just, uh, just fine and, you know. We'll be back to uh, life as normal, hopefully. As you say, hopefully, because I I have no idea. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I, I'm think I, you know, I I hate to say this because I hate to put a put a onus on it or whatever. But I just don't see any way he's going to win. There's there's no path to winning. And then I was talking to Shaky today, and we were talking about the fact that. Uh, I said to him, I said, it's almost as though he wants to lose. Yeah. You know? Uh, and and um, I'm beginning to wonder if that isn't the case, that he really does want to lose. Um, well, look, you, you can make more money successfully, or I'm sorry, unsuccessfully running for president for a long period of time than you can actually be make being elected president and serving as president yeah i mean former presidents make money that's pretty decent fact you know Mm -hmm. memoirs and so on and so forth right so a former president like him who could openly continually threaten to run again Mm -hmm. would make a lot more money than a normal former president right by constantly being in that game. I mean, how much money did Sarah Palin make, for example? And she wa- she wouldn't be nearly as popular as he's going to be among his peoples. Right. You know, so if there's one thing he needs, it's money. <laughs> you know, he doesn't have any money. We've seen the proof of that. I mean, I saw St- St- Steve Schmidt, who uh, uh, your Republican listeners used to think was the greatest guy ever and probably don't like now if they like mm-hmm. Trump. You know, he remarked earlier on MSNBC that he believes Trump is the first man to ever successfully bankrupt a political campaign because his political campaign is virtually insolvent at the moment. That's why they're pulling all their ad buys and everything else. They've spent a billion dollars and they have no money. Wow. Yeah. They have no money. Yeah. He basically said he's going to be the first guy in world history to spend a billion dollars and make his personal situation worse. (laughs) <laughs> and he inherited 400 million and he's down a billion I mean, how do you, you know, do that but the nice thing about the campaign if you like spending money is none of it was his money people just give it to him so it's a fucking great life really if you think about it well here's Fly the thing around, do what I want which is say stupid shit people love it they give me money they pay for it it's fucking outstanding well, we, and that's the thing is even if even if he loses are we going to have to listen to this idiot for how long? And he's going to keep saying, I had the greatest economy ever before this next administration came. And we got to listen to him forever. Uh, mm. Just if you watch Fox or. or yeah, the end. I think I think the mainstream will go away from it, but Fox will continue to plug him. Well, know, here here's what Shecky and I what I would say Shecky and I were saying uh, and and. It was um, that that he he. It seems like he's really working on trying to lose the election. That he doesn't want to win it, because what happens the day after he loses, he announces the Trump News Network, right? And then I 
Uh, we, like we, and then I was watching, I can't remember, I think it was MSNBC, and somebody on there went, well, he doesn't really want to win. He wants to lose because the next day he'll start his news network and he'll make a billion dollars. Right. You know. Possible, yeah. Yeah. That's a I don't think so. The, I mean, I, mean I, right, I, I don't think, know. I think America, America hates hates a bullshit and liar and above all hates a loser. No, 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 and, no. But but you don't understand, uh, 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 Simon. Uh, that's your name tonight, John yeah. Larkin. Uh, <laughs> uh, that that he it, it, it isn't a matter that if he loses he's gonna you know he nobody wants to watch Trump have a television network. If he gets 40 million people who vote for him, there are 40 million people who are going to want to watch a Trump network. Well, right. I mean, his core support of the electorate tends to be running somewhere around that 28 to 32 percent consistently mm -hmm. of, of his diehard won't leave him no matter what type people. Yeah. And that's a pretty large part of the population. I mean, it's tens of millions. And you can make a lot of money. Well, uh, let me put it this way: I guess if, you know, if I don't you, know if you will listen, but. if you're if you're uh, if you're a, a news network, and in prime time, you can get four million people. You're number one. Right, right. You no, know. I mean I agree with what he's saying. Is I, I think when he's done, America will move on. But America know, I mean, will I move think, on. I but, think he's uh, I think he's right there. You know, I mean that's that's right on the point. I think. I mean, I think America will just almost like stop talking about it because it's embarrassing that you made that mistake you know it's one of those things where you did it and you got away with it and you're like <laughs> i ain't never fucking telling anybody i did that shit you know i mean like i just keep that to myself or whatever you know like when you bump into something with your car or whatever and no one sees it and you're just like yeah fuck that i'll just drive away <laughs> <laughs> but, but i mean but his people will not i mean this, that that shit will go on for four or five more years before it flames out. I mean, real, I see it real similar to the Palin thing. You know, I mean, she rolled around in a fucking pool of money fooling people for a couple of years, and where the fuck is she at now? I mean, I don't know. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, who knows? Who knows what's going uh, what's gonna to happen with, uh, with all of them? But um, uh, I just think that he's not... He doesn't want to win. It, it, it's going to be better for him not to win than to win. Okay? Yeah. So, uh, I'm somewhere between, is that the truth? Or is he so fucking delusional that he just cannot accept the fact yet that he wants it so bad and he's just so blind to it that he just is just out of his mind? I don't know. I don't well, know. he doesn't like losing. That's for damn know. sure. You know. Well, um, so. Let's get one right. thing straight. He yeah. will never concede to losing. He will spin it that there were some unusual circumstances that caused it that he just could never correct. Right, right. So, you know, I mean, uh, he's, uh, he's, a, he's got a, uh, he, you know, it, but it, 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 he, we're not gonna, we're not gonna be rid of him, okay? He's gonna make himself continue to be present. Uh, hmm. And uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, I don't know, it's just, uh, but, it's two more weeks. Two more weeks. I'm so I, I don't know about you, but I've got Trump fatigue, big time. Oh, right. I'm tired of talking about him. I'm tired of hearing him. I'm tired of. Uh, uh, he walked out on Leslie Stahl. And he walked out on Leslie Stahl. Did you hear about this one? Yeah. <laughs> he. I mean, uh, hmm? Right. P part of his mistake. We've talked about this before. Part of his mistakes is probably just doing things that just kept him he couldn't just do his job he's made himself all trump all the time yeah. which in some weird way must sexually gratify him he probably jerks himself off to that because that's what people like that get off on yeah. but other people as long as he doesn't do it on a zoom by, call like you know? jeffrey too yeah. yeah i mean but other people are put off by narcissists after a while you know like once they figure out that's what you are they they start to be like oh, this fucking guy drives me nuts. It's all about this motherfucker all the time. You know what I mean? Like yeah. get this fucking guy out. I mean that's what it is. I mean part of his deal is he's he makes things. He does things to ensure that he dominates the news all the time. 
but that's what you're saying. You're like, even even people that don't hate him the way we do are like, man, I am sick and tired of hearing about uh, this. I don't hate him. Can someone just go to the White House and just get the fuck out of the way and work? Can we just, you know, watch well, the you know something, I, tree news again or something? I I um um I watched uh, tonight. They had a thing on the. They ran on first ladies on CNN. Uh, the one they ran on Michelle Obama. And I watched that couple, and I went, God, I wish we had that back. Just some dignity in the White House, mm -hmm. you know? Some decency. Something just very <clears throat> positive. And, well, some uh, peace and quiet. Peace and quiet, yeah. I mean, uh, <laughs> if he didn't hear about Obama for two weeks, okay. that's because he didn't do anything that was screwing us up, mm -hmm. you know? And you didn't hear about him every day in the news. No. I think that since he was elected, I can't remember a day on this program the word Trump hasn't been stated, as said. Yeah. Even when we, when we made a pledge that night that we weren't going to talk about Trump, somehow his name came up. Yeah. You know. And I think I one think of the once things... He, uh, huh? Let's assume he, he, he gets, uh, he's no longer president. Mm -hmm. He's going to still be on TV as much as he possibly You know can. something? I think... Is that the only thing that he's ever uh, done? I think the press, at this point, hates him so much. And they have every reason to hate him. I mean, he constantly berated <clears throat> them. I mean, how, do you really expect a dog, if you keep whipping it, not to turn around and attack you? you know. That's what Fox TV is for. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is that I think that once he's gone... The press is going to forget him and not mention a word about him. I think he's just not going to be newsworthy to them. He's not going to be important. And by the way, watch for the Republicans who run for the door, run for the exits on this They one. already are. Yeah. Some yeah. Are already are. Not a lot, yeah. but enough. Yeah. You know, this guy, what's his name? Uh, Sass. Sass. Yeah. Woo. Boy. Yeah, it's about time he spoke up and said something. He could have said something and voted to impeach him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, 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 the Republicans are going to pay, if he loses, if Trump loses, the, Trumps, uh, the uh, Republicans are going to pay a heavy price. Because I don't think they're going to get the Senate. And they're not, certainly not going to get the House. And they, I, they're not going to get the presidency. They are going to be living in hell. Okay, and they deserve it. They absolutely deserve it. Yeah. And, you know, there's a good chance Lindsey Graham will lose his seat where he is. And in, in his part of the country, to lose your seat in that part of the country is, is almost, if you're Republican, is almost considered uh, impossible. Did, did anybody see that debate with uh, McConnell and the lady that's uh, running against him? No. He just sat there with this. You know, she was just tearing him up a new asshole, and he's just sitting there giggling, you know. He couldn't even answer. Yeah. He just, <laughs> like, fuck. Well, that's the way he wins, you know. That's the way huh? he wins. That's, that's yeah. you know, just. Uh, I think he's, they just, he's got that state all tied up with money or something. Well, I mean, it, it's, it, let, let, what is it? It's uh, Kentucky, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, what do you expect? Yeah. You know? <laughs> You know, I mean, uh, crazy. You know, all they got down there are rednecks and horses. <laughs> you know, so. Hillbillies. Oh, right. I mean, yeah. When you get outside of like the northern Kentucky, Cincinnati mm -hmm. market, and out of like Lexington, mm -hmm. maybe Richmond, where Eastern Kentucky University is. I mean, when you get outside of a couple, you know, Louisville, of course, a couple of those cities, and you get out 25, 30 miles mm -hmm. and on out, you know, it's it's his people. Look, I mean, you know, it's middle-aged white male families. You know, uh, I mean, shit like that. I mean, those are the kind of people that. I mean, it's like an area that I live in, basically. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's. Well, we on, talked the, about on the this panel probably. tonight, we have at least one person who's voted so far, right, Charlie? Yep. I voted. You I voted, voted too already yeah. up there, Jeff? Because we can't do oh, it yeah. till Saturday. What What I is that? I voted on my e wheel. What is that? I don't. We can't read it. This uh, came in my community WhatsApp group. Oh, and I it's see. Trump at the window, and it shows, you know, a million people behind him pumping blood and stuff into him. And he says, oh, "Don't yeah. fear the virus." Yeah, yeah. 
but you know, it's uh, uh, I can we we're gonna do it. Uh, we can do it Saturday. We may wait till next like Monday or something to do it. There's yours. My stuff's, my stuff's here, is, and I'm trying to look at I'm trying to look at some of these you know, ballot measures, and I, you get those things in the mail, you know, those big flyers. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to get the ones that say yes on 22 and no on 22, and I'm trying to compare the two. <laughs> and they all just say all this positive stuff. Uh, you know, get the get all the rich people, tax all the rich people, and then this one says something else about that. And it's like, well, I want both, but they don't say any of the negative stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so I mean, it, it's it's it, it, it's going to be interesting. A lot of uh, what? How many people have voted so far? Almost thirty million, something like that. Over thirty million. Over thirty yeah. million. There are other things going on in the world. And they say that that bodes well for the Democrats. Uh, yes, uh, John. We we had a uh, on Sunday we had a Proud Boys rally in uh, uh, Union's Plaza in mm -hmm. I mean uh, Union Square. U Square. UN Plaza. UN in mm -hmm. Market. By, mm -hmm. by by the thing and about about ten uh, no there was about one or two proud boys and about ten Trump supporters and uh, about two thousand <laughs> anti Trumpers and the cops literally had to surround all the uh, the Trump people to protect them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there was there was and that was the second place they were supposed to, they were supposed to do it somewhere else I think at, at Dolores Park and so the gays took that over and they had the dance party. <laughs> Marjorie said that she she's worried about what's going to happen if Trump uh, doesn't win yeah. and what it's going to be like out there because the people who are on his side have guns. Well, there's going to be a lot of civil disobedience and then there's going to be a war with Israel and then God will intervene and smite all them anti-Trump people down and, you know, some other stuff mm -hmm. after that. And I know that because I watched the 700 Club with Pat Robertson. <laughs> and that's what he said today. Did he say that today? Uh, He's still you know, I got alive. The programs, and I was high enough today that I dialed up the 700 Club, and now I'm feeling light. You know, we used to have a theme around here for him. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I'm glad you gave us a source. A lot of people Thank say, you. what's that? It's yeah. Pat. Here comes Pat. And uh, then we would always play one of his diatribes. But I don't play him anymore because he's so old that you can barely <laughs> understand a word he says. I mean, I'm surprised he's still alive. Yes, uh, Bree. Well, he's alive. I, I got another uh, quote that came in my WhatsApp group I thought was funny. Uh, mm -hmm. It says, the vaccine should be tested on politicians first. If they survive, the vaccine is safe. If they don't, then the country is safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, guess who I talked to the other day? Yeah. Uh, Wilders. Uh, Will Durst. Yeah, you you heard it. I talked about it on that on the Monday show, which I'm not doing a Monday show next week because I have an eye doctor appointment. Anyway, uh, I talked to Will Durst, and uh, he's of course still laid up in bed, and he's still got one leg that doesn't work and a hand that's starting to work again. You know the whole thing that goes on, right, Jeff? Because you went through sure it yourself do. years and years ago. But it was so good to hear that he still could talk very well, still had his timing, and still was funny. Mm -hmm. You know? And uh, um, I'm going to have Debbie on next week to talk some more about it. But I'm going to call him like every two or three days and talk to him. You know, he, he's not he going. He's not, he's not going anywhere. You know what? Can he write? No, no, no. Uh, not with his right hand. I think his left. He can. He can't type. That's that's what mm -hmm. I heard. Type. I told I, I you know I told Debbie. I said you know he, he, he could you know he could dictate. That's that's the way I do it. A lot of good dictation pro things. I I dictate all my texts, you know, and then you'd have somebody go in and correct all the mistakes, you know, because text is you know spoken isn't perfect. But he didn't want to do that. He he you know he loves the ability to sit at a typewriter and work it out that way, and so. Um, 
But he, uh, you know, I said, he said, it's, it's just terrible. I said, what? He said that it was, it took, it was this year I had to have a stroke, you know, when there was just this wealth of comedy material. <laughs> and I haven't been able to perform it or do it or comment on it or whatever. And I said, yeah, but let's say you didn't have the stroke. You still wouldn't have a place to do it because of COVID. There were no clubs. You know, he could still write and stuff like that. But, uh, but he was just really funny, really funny. Uh, he, 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 pulled, he pulled else. a joke which wasn't his, but I just it just slayed me. We were talking about, you know, uh, he if somebody brought him a choice for his lunch in two different plates. And I, he said, which one would you have? And I said, I'd have the chicken. So he ordered the chicken. And then he said, uh, yeah, it reminds me of a joke. A uh, waiter comes up and says to a guy, uh, um, what do you want for dinner? He says, well, I have a baked potato and I'll have a steak, please. And he says... And your vegetable? He says, oh, he's not eating. <laughs> anyway, I thought it was very funny, especially considering the situation. But anyway, hes I just want to let you know, hes hes if, if I just did audio with him, he's the same old Durst. Hmm. Okay? No, I just do audio. <clears throat> well, you know, it's not what he's done all his life, uh, Bree. He's gone on a stage, and he's done one-man shows, and he's talked to people, and he's pontificated, and you know, doing doing audio is just not the same for a guy like him. For me, doing this is not what's natural for me. What's natural for me is sitting in front of a mic and doing a radio show. Mm -hmm. You know, so. But anyway, sometimes uh, you try other things. What? Sometimes you got to try other things. Yep. So, well, you, what you do is you adapt. Yeah. You know, and uh, uh, he's still be, but he's he's he's, you know, he's still funny and he's still got it. And I was so happy to be able to talk to him. And I'm going to call him every couple of days. And you know, he's got a lot of time on his hands. So. Yes, Jeff, because you went through this. Yeah. The other the other thing that he might need. Is a thing called the Watchman, which is a surgical device. Really? What that is that? Apparently, it prevents people from having a second stroke. I'm sure they've done whatever they can. You know, I mean, they had to drill. Yeah, it's it's a little too early for, for they, him to do that. They had to drill holes in his head. Yeah. You know, because he was he got an infection and he had pressure on the brain and things like that. Mm -hmm. Did they have to do that with you? Oh yeah, really? So yeah. then, did your wife uh, say to you, "What? What do you got? A hole in your head?" <laughs> I actually have like a slot. Do you really? Yeah. Uh huh. Um, does it heal up, or is it you still have a little dent there? Not a hundred percent. Really? It, you can feel it. I can feel it. Yeah. How long did it take you to get back to some normalcy after a having it? A, a year. And that was really <clears throat> stretching it because I had a company and I had, you know, a whole bunch of people working for me and they were, they were like uh, doing, trying to do everything themselves without me. Mm -hmm. And I was, I guess I was the principal uh, sales guy for the company. Yeah. And, uh, you know, my, my, very good friend was, you know, the vice president. He was running things, and he was a very nice person, mm -hmm. but he was not a sales guy. So I said, Bill, yeah. guess what we're going to do tomorrow? He goes, what's that? I says, we're going to go see our customers tomorrow, and let's set it up so we visit every single one in the same mm -hmm. company. And we went and walked through the whole thing, talked to, I mean, like 15 people. And then we get in the car and Bill says, well, I guess nobody really needs us right now. Ten minutes later, one of the customers calls up and says, yeah, you know, we do have a project that we'd like you to work on. Hmm. Was, How old were you when, when you had the stroke? <sighs> 
a question. Probably 65. 65, and so that, was, that wasn't so long ago, was it? Maybe younger. Yeah, I said in the 60s. Yeah, but I mean, how many, how, how many years ha has it been since the stroke, do you know? Over 10 years. Over 10 years, okay. Uh, because, uh, you know, he, he said, and I, you know, you, we've s talked about it here, that getting over this sort of thing, uh, he, could be, he could be doing a tap dance in a year. Yeah. Or... He could never get his mm. his 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 legs go that leg going again, you know. And there's no telling. It's just a really freakish, isn't it? Like to this day, you say you have trouble reading, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Reading is uh, I I can read word by word, but you can't like just look at it and go blah blah blah. You just can't go through a whole book. Or, you know, I I listen to an audio. That must be a, kind of a weird feeling to one day be able to read and the next day you, you can't read. Yeah. You know. And it affected your speech a little bit, right? Oh, yeah. 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 But, you you know, yeah. in normally, in normally talking to you on the show, we would never know you had a stroke. I know, but don't ask me tough questions. <laughs> oh, okay. What, what's Einstein's theory of relativity? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Talk to my cousin Einstein. <laughs> Your cousin Einstein. Um, let me see here. So this week we get the, uh, what, Thursday is the vote for the Supreme Court justice? Josh? Uh, that sounds right. Yeah. yeah, Thursday, yeah. I'm glad they've taken their time to do this, you know, and thought the whole process out. It was really considerate of them. Thursday is the debate too, right? Thursday is the debate, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. At night. They, well, they say they're going to cut off the Your mics at two up. minutes. I don't know if that's true. They say they're going to cut off the mics at two minutes. Yeah, yeah. And when, yeah, the, right. when the other guy is on, yeah, well, I mean, and Trump doesn't want him to do that. Yeah, he, I, he's going to keep speaking. What's going to stop him? That's right. Who's going to stop him? Yeah, he's going to keep speaking. He'll, he'll run over on. to her microphone. He'll go over to <laughs> Biden's microphone and start yelling into it. You know, it's you it, get like a little taser or something. <laughs> well, no, what I suggested, I think it was the other night, is that we do what they do on Nickelodeon with those award shows. When his time is up, if he keeps going, you slime him. I would be all right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you just dump a whole bunch of slime all over him and right. see. If, but that probably wouldn't shut him up either. No. That's true. Because would see his bald head though. His hair would soak it all up and nothing would get his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh man. God, what fun times we live in. You know what I just don't get? I just it just and and uh, Cuomo did a whole bit on it. By the way, Cuomo has a thing out uh, called the COVID dictionary. And if you get a chance, go on to YouTube. Uh, they the, the bit where he reads it. My favorite one was, uh, there were the various terms, you know, and, and some of them were real and some of them weren't. And the one that wasn't real was uh, Blur's Day, which is the new day for every day that you feel during COVID when you're sitting at home and can't figure out what day it is. It's Blur's Day. Mm -hmm. So I thought that was oh, cool. Me. Huh? We're going back into lockdown starting tomorrow. So that's why I'm in the office to get a few items. And uh, when they say lockdown, they mean lockdown, right? Yeah, like we were in uh, back in um, February, March. March, April. Yeah. Uh, so we, this particular state that I'm in has seen a, just a. He's in. By the way, for people who've never seen Bree before on this show or never seen this show, he is in Kuala Lumpur. If you don't know where that is, go buy a map. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> So I'm in the state of Stellingor, and we've had a lot of uh, increases. So they told us today is the last day to come into the office and pick stuff up, and we'll probably be back in lockdown until the end of the year. So um, that's how it's going here. Percent? And they say, uh, yeah. I read a report that India, uh, it's funny that, two, you know, again, this it, same as in the beginning of this whole thing where you read two different headlines. One said India sees the lowest uh, daily rate of infection. Mm -hmm. Then the next headline is, 
uh, experts predict half of India will have COVID by February. So, you know, just, uh, it's just crazy. We still don't, still don't have any idea of what's going on. I'm trying to yep. find it here. Let me see if I can find it. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they put up a, uh, he put up a list of um, all the uh, areas. Well, let me see if this goes there. No, that's not it. Okay. Wait a minute. That, maybe that is it. Uh, he put up a list. We have far of, more restrictions here. I, I still see stuff back in the States about people going out to dinner, talking about trick-or-treating. And people mm -hmm. going places, it just boggles my mind. Like, I, I just, uh, I just don't understand it. People talking about going on vacation and flying somewhere, and it's like, what? What is? Maybe we're in the bubble here, but the deal is, is that you got to stay in. We're still not clear of this. Thing. Okay, here, here, here's the list that he put up. The positivity rate in states. New York is now third from the bottom. Um, because we've gone up a little bit. We're at 1.17% positivity rate, which is nothing, okay? I mean, nothing would be zero, okay? But it's nothing. Mass uh, the other two states, what do you think the other two lowest states are? Any guesses? They're close to each other. I'll give you a clue about that one. Hmm. Least infected state in the United States is Maine with 0.36 percent, hmm. and Massachusetts with 1.14 percent. We many times have been below that. Do you know what the number one state is? North Dakota. No. South Dakota. New Jersey. South Dakota. I'm surprised at this. What is it? Nevada. Oh. Do you know what their positivity rate is in Nevada? 45.97%. Se right. It's in almost one out of every t uh, two people tested has COVID. Oh of course, there are only three people in the state, but that's another. Yeah, that's South than Dakota's than number two with 37.19%. Idaho, 28.69%. let us see here. Uh, where, where are you? Uh, let's see here. Where, where are you? Well, Bree, I can't go there. In California. Uh, Charlie, Texas. Let's see if we can find Texas. Yep. Texas is only 7.6 per 0, 6 percent. Okay? That's not bad. I mean, it's bad, but it's not terrible. <clears throat> um, but uh, you got uh, Wyoming is at 21, Iowa at 20, Kansas at 19, <laughs> Nebraska at 18. All these states that never even had a problem. Now are just unbelievably well, and that's, infected. They must. I mean, I think that's obviously because they don't put hardly any <coughs> in place, mm -hmm. and their populations, the vast majority of them, all tend to live in these small clustered areas together. You know. Yeah. I mean, like if you live in South Dakota, around population, you're in like Rapid City, or in Sioux Falls, and and, and then like. Everything in between is wide open, nothing, 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 and then a lot more nothing. And it's just like four or five population centers. They all live really close to each other, and they chose not to put any kind of measures in place. They didn't scale down on their restaurants. They didn't close any schools. They didn't, you know, I mean, they didn't right. really hardly do anything. I mean, you've seen South Dakota's governor on television. Fuck, she's proud of that number you just read. She thinks that's fucking... Great, you know. I mean, but I mean, the, Nebraska, so when you way? get down when you get down to us, and we've only got one point one seven percent, that's pretty good. You and know? your people live on top of each other. Oh, even worse than those people. Oh, this is this is you know? right. Th this is an infection waiting to happen this time. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. so that's good work. Oh no, we we work hard at it, you know. But yeah. it's it's going to go up because winter is here. Yeah. And also, but the, the thing that got me, and I, I see this all the time on TV because they interview people and go, well, so how do you feel about COVID and so on? Oh, I'm not wearing a mask. I, I don't like wearing a mask. It's, it's, my, it's my constitutional right not to wear a mask. Really? 
what is that, the 19th or 20th Amendment? What, uh, what amendment is that to the Constitution? What do you mean it's your, your right, right? It's not a right of free speech or anything like that. My right is life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and life is the first one. And if you kill me because of your inconsideration, you're violating the most basic right that I have. You know, so just leave me alone with that. But, I mean, it's just amazing the people who won't wear masks because, oh, they, 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 they Trump's, Trump's percentage, did you hear his, his percentage the other night? That 80% or 80, what, 88%, he was very specific, 88% of all people who wear masks get COVID. Yeah, yeah and, and there was some guy... Stop some, some, stop doing that, Brie. It's making a lot of noise. Some mayor was on TV saying that uh, said, "Well, masks don't do any good anyway. They don't they don't prevent the uh, virus from spreading." Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, that's what that's what they're they're talking about that on uh, Fox now. They said right. that if you wear a mask, your chances of getting COVID are of less than 1%. Pretty they're good. using data they're using farts as data. <laughs> Say you fart you smell it how can that well, stop the Well, virus? you know I've heard that you lose <laughs> if you get if you get covid you lose your sense of, you lose your sense of smell and taste is one of the <laughs> symptoms of of getting covid. So every time Marjorie farts in bed <laughs> I consider that my COVID test, and I just mail it into the city and let them know I don't have it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, tell that joke on Monday when she's on the show, see what happens. Oh, no, she'll be, she, I think I've pulled it to her when we were doing stuff. Yeah. But, uh, well, they, they say there's like over, what? over 500 kids. They say there's like over 500 kids that they can't find their parents from all the stuff that Trump took, you know? Mm -hmm. grab them. Kids at the border. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Ivanka's yeah. 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 got a plan mm. for that. Well, you know, I mean, but you've got all these states that have got these, I mean, especially these, these states that never had a problem until now are, like, exploding. Okay? Texas is actually getting better, isn't it, uh, Charlie? Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> California's getting better, isn't it, Brian? We don't test Brian? anybody. The only reason our number's so low is because we don't test anybody. Well, don't you know if you don't test them, you don't have it. <laughs> I can't get a test to save my life. Would you like really? to have a test? I'd go in for a test tomorrow if, if, if they would let me have it, but I haven't had contact with anybody that's had COVID, so they won't let me, they won't let me have a test. Well, is this a pretty good assumption? I haven't had a test because Marjorie's had to have two of them so far because her doctors made her take them before they uh, they do something for her, Okay. And then she's come back negative both times. So I imagine, by virtue of that, I've got to be negative too. I don't think there's any way you could be in the same household with somebody and you get it and she doesn't get it. Am I right, Brian? You're kissing her, you're doing all that stuff. So yeah. I never kiss her. What are you talking about? <laughs> Come on, I'm married to her. I don't care. I, I was surprised malaria got it because malaria, yeah. they, they, they don't sleep together or anything. I don't know how she got it. They're she, never together. Except she was people. hugging people in the rose garden for crying out loud. Yeah, that's probably how she got it. Well, um, in Iwu, China, for 60 bucks, you can get the vaccine. For how much? $60. What vaccine is that? The BBC reported it that in Iwu, China, mm -hmm. that they the government has approved a vaccine, and you can buy it for sixty bucks. Really? Yeah, but which vaccine? There's like four different companies working on. I don't know. I just mm -hmm. saw it on BBC. Well, you know, there's a new te thing they're doing. They're they're testing in England. They're they're giving people COVID, but they're giving them a vaccine first. And then they're giving him the COVID shot with COVID That's in it. That's one way to test for it. To see if it works. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they, they're doing it basically on younger people who could survive it if they came down yeah. with it, you know. Uh, and, and I guess that's one way of testing it. It's you know. a good therapy. 
Well, you remember what was it? Was it, you, you remember this, don't you, Josh? That when they were testing stuff on blacks, like giving oh. them syphilis and things like that. Yeah, that's been done before. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't remember the name of that operation, but the Skeegee, uh, or Skeegee, whatever, or other, yeah. whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, it's been done. Yeah, it was pretty ugly, pretty ugly, you know. Well, I mean, they're just blacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's only three fifths of a person. Hey. Yeah, you don't have, you, right. you don't have to report as many deaths, right? Yeah, right. it's three fifths of a person. I mean, you know, fucking bricks ended slavery. We didn't need them anymore. Yeah. What good are they if they aren't slaves, right? Yeah. Had to do what we had to do. Yeah. Um, but it, it trouble for but it now. just it's just amazing to me <laughs> these people who who just you know I I hate wearing a mask. How many people here love wearing a mask? Well, I, uh, it's right. No. You know, uh, I, I, I don't I mean, like. It's just required. Anybody, I mean, anybody need a mask? Uh, <laughs> well, why don't you deal them out there? I've got one lying back here. Here we go. Here's mine. I keep this in the studio. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why I have mine. You know, Fox News. I was watching it tonight. They got they had these two doctors on that are that are they're still promoting. Uh, Hydroxychloroquine. Hydroxychloroquine, yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. I'm like, I thought that's, they're still on that shit. You know, what is that? actually, this isn't a bad idea. I probably could get laid more often at my age <laughs> if I wore this all the time. And sunglasses. Uh, yeah, no, babe, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm 63. No, yeah, right? I mean, do I have some sunglasses on? Do I look older, as old as I normally look with this on? No, that's pretty cool. Yeah, put the hat down a little more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god, you look like you're 30. <laughs> put dark glasses on, I could be like the Unabomber, you know. Uh, but uh, anyway, oh, but nobody, nobody likes wearing these. I mean, you walk with them, you get short of breath. Because you got a lot of carbon dioxide coming back at you. But I don't do this for me. I do it for the other person, and the other person should do it for me. And when I, don't see, when I see a person not wearing them, uh, I get mad because I'm saying, you're disrespecting me, you know? Uh, and and that's, that's what it's all about and why we can't, as a nation, go, oh, okay, well, we'll all wear masks. That way we can kill this thing. They actually say that if everybody in America wore a mask, we could probably kill this in a month. Yep. If everybody did it. Because, you know, if it has no place to go, it's going to die on its own. Harry, which places did you... Uh... What? What were you, what were you asking, uh, he, Jeff? I think he was talking to his wife. Oh. No, I was asking whether or not uh, Pam and actually... Uh, when she was in the medical factory, whether or not she wore uh, uh, stuff on her face every day. Yeah. Yeah. She's not. Well, I mean, well, I, whenever I, I, we did animal studies, we started doing them that way. I don't in know. In Australia, yeah. they were very, very tough. Ones. I don't know how hospital workers wear those masks all day long. Oh, oh yeah. 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 I mean, I mean, I, it's rough enough for me if I'm taking a walk to have it on for like a half hour. Although if I'm if I'm walking down the street and I don't see anybody coming towards me or on either side of me, I'll lower it so I can breathe, you know. But it will, huh? Yeah, I oh, do that I too. Yeah, we 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 wear those in the clean rooms when we're doing building the product, and they have the mask on. They have glasses, protective glasses because we have some lasers in there. Mm -hmm. And they're all gowned up. They have the hair bonnet. They have the gown. Mm -hmm. And they, I take, when I was running manufacturing, I would take audits in there. And the auditors would go in and they're like, by the time we get out in the gown room, they go, ah, oh, ah. Oh. I said, yeah, people get a lot more respect from my workers when they know that they're in there for two hours at a time, you know. Yeah. Oh so, yeah. Well, I, 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 I wonder. Surgery took seven and a half hours. I wonder how dating. How, I, but I wonder how dating. I wonder how dating has been affected by uh, by mask wearing. Because you can see somebody and go, "Hey, she looks hot. Oh, what beautiful eyes she has." <laughs> 
<laughs> and then she takes the mask off and you go screaming and running for the door. I mean, <laughs> I wonder how it's changed dating in that respect. COVID and all, how did that change dating? I mean, is, is, is there any dating? I mean, is who, who, I guess. Well, you know, I, you know where we have a hint in the past on how something affected dating? How about when, when AIDS was hitting big time? Yeah. You know, that kind of changed dating habits, too. You know. <laughs> um, so, you know, this is, I think, do you think this has changed us in the long term? I mean, the, this kind of behavior yeah. we're going through now is going to continue even when we have a vaccine? Absolutely, or are yeah. people just going to go, whoop de doo I'm now going to breathe in everybody's face? No, this is the way it is now. In other words, you, you think masks are going to become very common? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They are in Asia. Well, they always were in Asia. If you yeah. got a cold in Asia, yeah. okay, you wore a mask. Well, right? They wear masks all the time, summertime, everything. When I go to Vietnam, five three times they've always always wearing masks i mean brie knows right brie yep well during yeah, it's not a big deal but it's during yeah. is it during a flu season when they do it or do they do it just all, all the time summertime the everything yeah yeah and we have a lot of creative masks i mean you can get any yeah. mask you want with any logo yeah pretty well, much. I, i'm just thinking that uh yeah yeah Somebody wrote here, poor Marjorie has to live with Alex. Yes. <laughs> yes, she does. And then Peter and Arno explain. writes, Russia has a vaccine and they're giving out widely. It hasn't passed an FDA-type test for safety and efficacy. Maybe people can buy it on the gray or black market in other countries. I'll wait. Nah, I'm not going to try. I mean, how many of you would try the vaccine if it came out tomorrow? And the FDA said it's all clear. No? I would, yeah, if they said it was all good. Really? Okay. If they said, I mean, if, I mean, if Fauci and, you know, all the... Well, the trouble is, though, that Trump has created such an atmosphere of distrust over all of this mm -hmm. yeah. that people are afraid of doing it for that exact reason you mentioned is that you know they don't know that it's it's for real if they're really right about it plus there's another factor any any uh, vaccine we have coming down the pipe uh is only 50 percent effective and you have to have two shots you have to go back a month later and get the second shot so availability mm -hmm. is not going to be terrific i mean uh, Trump talks about, oh, we have two million doses that we had made up that we, so that's 500, that's one million people are going to be able to get it. How many people are in this country? 330. Yeah. And he, and he's lying. He, he said the other day at the seniors. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. He, li he lied? Yeah, I know, I know. Okay. <laughs> but he was telling the seniors, you guys are going to be first. I'm thinking of you and you're going to be first. And that's not true. We've had meetings and they talk about, because we're helping some people with vaccines. They use our instruments to test for the vaccines. But yeah, they're talking about how first responders, first and there responders. Are certain, there's certain protocol that they're going through. And the seniors aren't there for, you know, they're like fifth or sixth of the groups down the line. But he's saying, you guys are first with us. Well, I think. going to get the vaccine before anybody. But who's going to be the last? The last is probably going to be kids, right? Yeah, probably, probably. yeah. Yeah. With their beautiful immune systems. With their beautiful yeah. immune systems, right. But you know, remember uh, remember when Ford got the shot in the 70s? Mm hmm that, that, that vaccine killed a lot of people. Really? Which 70s. vaccine was that? Uh, it, was for, it was some really bad flu. I think it was H1 something or another. But remember, he got the shot on TV, and uh, it was uh, a big deal. But uh, everybody got inoculated. It was like in 76, and then, then it turned out a lot of people died from that. It was uh, dangerous. For that. By the way, this flashed just in on our, on our uh, chat room here uh, from, uh, oh, wait a minute, I just saw oh, Kevin's calling here. Um, I hope he didn't have to wait too long. Um, uh, 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 Tony writes, TV is not showing the Charlie Brown Halloween special. Oh, God. Uh, 
bad day for, for him. How long were you waiting, Kevin? Because I just saw you there. Uh, just a minute. Oh, okay. Good. Uh, oh, so why aren't they showing that uh, Charlie Brown? I have no idea, but don't ask because then he'll call and bemoan it, you know. It's an American. It's an American, <laughs> exactly. Because Charlie Brown has COVID. <laughs> Well, I, I bet the reason they're not showing it is because they don't want you to trick or treat this year. I think that's oh, why. Yeah. Huh? What'd you What'd you say, Charlie? I think that's why. Really? Okay. There are still people planning to trick or treat. Of course. Yeah. Really? I'm gonna throw the candy at them down the street. Yes, not uh, my, Jeff. Not Near mine, us, we have a rule that says you put the candy outside. That'll last them. And you I let saw, the kids take it, but we don't touch it. I saw some guy who at his house put in a, he had like a, a, what do you call it, a banister, right? Leading up steps to his house. Yeah. And he put in a tube. Yeah. And what he's going to do is just shoot this stuff tube. down the tube to the kids. PVC piping, PVC piping, and a little J at the end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shoots down and comes up. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Which is very cool. Um, but a t-shirt, t-shirt shooter, <laughs> shoot it at him. But everybody, everybody, you know, I mean, come on, folks. You know, if you just, if we all just got together and went after this thing, we could stop it. You know, and it dead in its tracks, and we're not doing it because we are yeah. selfish fucks. That's what our problem is. It's every man for himself, you know. But anyway, oh, excuse me, I gotta blow my nose. Anybody mind if I blow my nose? Oh, I'll turn off my microphone when I do it. Hey, we're getting closer to you guys, Brian. We gained another 2,000 cases on, on, on California today. Oh my God. Every day, we get two or 3,000 closer. Yeah, but just remember, California's still getting it. Yeah, but yeah. we're getting it more. <laughs> Good. I, yeah, my I friend's house will be endemic. Yeah. You know, my I've friend's house. That. What? My friends have my friends have salons and stuff like that, and these guys are just like they're not going to be <clears> open <throat> much longer. Yeah. It's really bad. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, a lot of businesses are having trouble. Our our governor is opening movie theaters up in the northern part of the state, uh, but he's doing it. You don't, you can only have twenty five percent occupancy, or fifty per screen, uh, whichever is the more, or whatever, whichever is less, something yeah. like that. Uh, I don't know about you, but I don't care if the governor could open it up and say only ten percent could be in there. I'm not going into a goddamn going movie either. theater. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, come they're on. opening up bars here in the city, but in San Francisco, but they're not allowed to uh, have TVs on because they don't want people screaming at the TVs, you know, with sports and, you know, mm -hmm. but, but you can only have, I think like, like 25% mm -hmm. occupancy. Uh, my question is, and I guess as a non drinker, <laughs> I have to ask this question. Uh, why do we make an exception uh, for bars? I mean, what are we doing? Oh, well, I'm sorry. We, 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 we don't want you to get COVID. But on the other hand, we don't want to stop you from being alcoholics. You know, we want, don't want to do anything to impinge on that, you know? Yeah. Uh, you got to eat food, though. They have to serve food. They have to, yeah, here in New York, they have to serve food. Yeah, it can't be just alcohol. Yeah. Yeah. But they, they, so they serve what? A sandwich or something like that? Yeah. Or beef yeah, jerky yeah. or, you know? Nachos, hot dogs, or something. Yeah. yeah they got a biker no bar down here. Like that in Texas. What? So no restrictions like that in Texas. Yeah. Kevin? I said they got a biker bar down here that did that, and they kept opening up in uh, Whiskey Creek, and they kept opening up, and they'd serve they'd serve a hot dog or something and call it a... a uh, restaurant. Yeah, a place, a restaurant, yeah. yeah. Or a bag of popcorn or some shit. But I seem to remember when I was a kid having places where they were there were bars, and and they just served alcohol. 
but maybe maybe I wasn't looking closely. Maybe they also were serving like chili or something like that, so it constituted food. Yeah, they didn't let them get away with it though. Have pretzels. Pretzels. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Bag of pretzels or a Slim Jim or something. Yeah. So here we go, crawling towards the election. Uh, and uh, unless I think I think. Unless um, uh, Biden loses his cool, which I don't think he's capable of doing, uh, I think if he just plays it close to his vest, he's winning this one. How about yeah. you? How about you, Bree? How are you feeling? What, what's your latest odds? Because you know the odds with uh, uh, on uh, yeah the odds popular with- vote definitely Biden popular vote. They but, say um, they say he's got the electoral locked up too. No, you know, when I looked at that, um, I saw it with uh, the guy on CNN. He had the blue, you know, for Biden and the red for Trump. Yeah. And then what they did in this day, they said, okay, Biden's got it, 290-something. Then they flashed back, same time, Hillary Clinton. She had, they projected her 307. So they were actually- The the only difference, Barry, the only difference was that when they made those predictions- there were certain assumptions being made that aren't being made easily now because we've learned better from the last election. So you can't use that election as a weather vane for what's going on here. You can't say, oh, she was the same, blah, blah, blah. Well, no, but they, were, they had a different metric going. I think you can use it from the standpoint that we learned that Everything is not cut and dried. Every, everything is not, um, you know, when you, you can't, in other words, you can't go by all the polls and the predictions. I think that's 2016 taught us to be a little more careful okay. with our Okay, you know, projections. Well, cut to the chase. If you had 100 bucks you had to put down, where <laughs> would you put it? <laughs> I wouldn't be putting it down. No, but where would you put it if you had to? I'm just not sure right now. Really? Um, but I'll let you know. I'd, I'd bet I'm buying. Because I think that um, there, the, 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 on the night of the election, it'll, it, it could appear that Trump has won. And then it'll be, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. you know, how many places do we count the ballots, the mail-in ballots? Yeah. Hey, you and, know something? Look, look at what we got there. You see Adrian? When we see Adrian, <laughs> we know the show is over. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Hi, Adrian. How are you tonight? <laughs> the last oh, couple of boy. times, she's been really shy. She always wants to be on the show to say goodnight, and then she's always, now she's shy. But, no, you know something? She's acting like a woman. <laughs> you know, yeah. coy, standoffish, yeah. you know. Yeah. Doesn't want to seem like she wants to be there, but what's that? Mm-hmm. That's the show. Oh, oh, that's the show now? That's the show, yeah. Oh. <laughs> on YouTube. Yeah. She's okay, our, say goodnight. He's our, she's also our spokesmodel on the show. <laughs> yeah. Well. You want your own show? Tell Alex you want your own show on here. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Look hey. at your Roblox people. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Josh. Good seeing you here. Uh, 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 Brian, thank you very much. A- Adrian, very nice to see you again tonight. Thank you for dropping by. Uh, uh, yeah, that's what most women do with me. They hide themselves. Uh, uh, thank you, uh, John Larkin. Thank you to Charlie Walker. And thank you to, what is that? Oh, that's uh, Madonna wearing a mask. Or no, that's Marilyn wearing a mask. The Andy Warhol painting of Marilyn. Thank you very much there in Kuala Lumpur. Bree, okay that's it for tonight yeah that's it everybody wave goodbye and we'll wave goodbye at you and uh, then we will fade to me okay there we go here i am there we go anyway that's it that's our uh, that's our panel for tonight tomorrow night 9 8 30 by the way we have a sports show with the franchise mc if you've never heard it they're pretty good and it's coming from somebody who knows nothing about sports anyway uh, they'll be here, and then I'll be here at 10.30, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her. 
And by the way, stay safe out there and do your fellow person a favor and wear a goddamn mask, will ya? Good night.